Alright lads, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom Harlock and I do not have an intro, but I have got a point. I am a legend, I am an icon, and I am the moment. But you know what they say, a moment on the lips is a lifetime on the hips, and well, it appears as if Anne Boleyn Reed can't seem to get me out of her mouth. A month ago, I made a video titled What's Wrong with Anne Boleyn, where I explored the life and controversies of YouTube's favourite train wreck. Fast forward to two nights ago, and millions of views and tens of thousands of comments later, a copy of my video fell into Anne Boleyn's generous lap. During a live stream on her YouTube channel, it was requested of Anne Boleyn to react to my video about her. And she did just that, after pretending to not know who I am. Newsflash Anne Boleyn, I'm breathtaking, I'm important, and if Miss Mojo was to compile a list of all the British men who deserve rights, I would be numbers 1 through 10. Since her live stream, it's been heavily requested that I react to Anne Boleyn's reaction of me, and I'm not one to pass up an opportunity to get meta, baby. So of course, I'm more than happy to oblige. Unfortunately, Anne Boleyn did not save the live stream after she finished, but don't worry, some kind viewers out there archived the chaos for me. Muy apreciado, truly. Now I haven't seen this video in full, but I have watched a couple of clips that have floated around on Twitter, and I do know she nopes out of my video pretty quickly. So much like Anne Boleyn, I can't promise this is gonna be anything other than a massive disappointment. But if somebody's asking for my attention, Call me an Amazon employee, baby, because I'm here to deliver. And I'm also a representation of corporate greed. So for today's video, I thought it'd be a grand idea to react to Anne Boleyn reacting to me. Massive thanks to Thor W for uploading this three hour long live stream. Okay, time to grab a Red Bull. Let's go. So who's this Tom person? Cause if they're boring, I'm not doing it. I'm incredibly strong and fast and ice cold. You know what I am. Say it. That's 40 fucking minutes long. I'm not, I'm not in it to win it. You complain about a 40 minute long video when you're uploading a three hour live stream, shut up. Okay, he's drinking a Red Bull. All right, fair enough. Oh my God, my heart stopped and then restarted. He said his heart stopped and it restarted. He's so funny. So funny making jokes about heart stopping and starting even though it's about me. Shut up, Amber. Shut up, come on, bring it. I'm well in the mood for a fight. I love someone that's so funny about heart stopping. All right, well, I don't find heart attacks hilarious. I found my dad in the middle of a heart attack once. It was kind of traumatic, if I'm honest. There I am! I want you guys to be able to- Oh, God. How is this gonna work? Mm, I don't, you just have to press play, love, and just watch. Press play and watch, it's not hard. God, I am absolutely breathtaking. This is something about me that's unlike anyone else. <laughs> God, I'm such a nightmare. <laughs> All right, this is exciting. I need to plug in my phone, actually. Actually, because it's going to die. It's at 10%. You're making jokes about dying, are you? I find that absolutely hilarious. How funny, how rich, love. Fuck it. If this is boring, I'm not doing it. Okay, well, I'm And not if it's boring. rude and annoying, I'm not doing it. I am it. rude. I'm not annoying, but I am definitely rude. I just am not going to. All right, well, why are you doing it then? Because I don't need the negativity. Is that emotions or the diabetes test that you haven't taken? What are you drinking, babe? Red Bull. I'm drinking Red Bull. Put your tongue in your, put your tongue Yummo. in your mouth. What are you doing? Reacting to some boring person, I feel like. What do you mean? I don't know, his name is like Tom. The audacity to call me boring. I'm probably not gonna really watch that much of it. Watch the whole thing, I make points. Becky, Becky, Becky. I love Becky. Becky is the moment. Good, I made me feel something. I'm ready to take on this video. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, that big lass. All right, that's what- Oh yeah, that big lass. Okay, so we're, we already have a fat joke. Actually, no, I'm gonna let you finish. That's my Actually, time. no, I'm not. If you are big lass, find the lie. What am I gonna say? Oh yeah, who am I talking about? Petite, slim, amber, shut up. I do not have an intro. But I did have an apple for breakfast. And Tom you know what Harlock? Say. I know who he is. You know who Tom Harlock is? Yeah, I've watched some of his vines. <laughs> yes! Becky! 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 He's a hater! I'm not a hater. I'm a concerned citizen. All right. Yeah, Becky used to be a fan. Oh my god. Used to be a fan? But since when was Becky not a fan? I didn't hear that come out of her mouth. Stop putting words in her mouth. God, see how the roles reverse? What roles? How are the roles supposed to be reversing? I'm not a fat. Actually, I am kind of a fan of Becky. So quick. 
when they know that my name gets some views. It's so cute. Okay, let's go. In what world do you get me views? F fact check yourself, darling. The only person who gets me views is my niece. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna keep pausing, I promise. I kind of might, I don't, I don't know. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> well, in that case, someone get this gal a whole entire orchid because her knees are screaming for inpatient treatment. Okay, so we already have another fat joke. You can't turn around and say that I'm not allowed to make a single joke about your size when your whole entire channel is a joke about your size, but all right. Now I see where he got his uh, fans from when it comes to Hater Nation. Let's move on. I completely disagree with the term fat shaming because there's no fat shaming going on here. I'm saying I'm saying the actual truth. Like the genuine truth is that you're a bigger person. Not in any way whatsoever did I say that you're a bad person because you're fat, but you're not gonna let me say that, are you? You're just gonna continue pausing and calling me a fat shamer. Okie doke, darling. We have two fat shaming jokes all within 30 seconds. And that is why people like him. Becky just said, just said that she was a fan of my vines. I had millions of followers on vines and billions of views. Suck my fat dick, Amber Lynn Reed. This is Amber Lynn Reed, 29 years old and with the lung capacity of a bedbound pensioner. Amber Lynn is a YouTuber from America. Obviously. Obviously. The weight loss community on YouTube has started this well recently with channels such as Obese to Beast inspiring a new wave of vloggers to pick up the camera and document their journey. And one of the biggest in every sense is I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm pretty sure I was on YouTube before Obese to Beast. Still love him. So already Tom has his um, facts wrong. Hmm, not trying to be rude, but I'm pretty sure that I said Obese the Beast inspired the weight loss community. I didn't say he created it, and I'd not say that you joined YouTube because of him. I'm not gonna nitpick, although I could probably do that for a while, looking at the lice in your hair, but okay, carry on, love. Read. Hi, that's me. It sure is, sweetheart. It sure is. Anne Boleyn first came on my radar around a month ago, right? I do want to say, I don't I'm judge people. You're unsubscribing? Becky's unsubscribing. No, you're not. You're just saying that to please Amber so she gives you an allowance this month. Let's be real. I do I do want to say I don't judge people based on their appearance. Judge me. Judge me on my appearance. I swear down. Do it. Bring it to me. Give me a judgment. That's all I want. But I do want to say his teeth are gorgeous. Oh, Amber. Page was a video title. Oh, my heart's outside. Amber, thanks. Amberlyn read pronouncing words wrong for two and a half minutes. True. And all I can say is thank God for the YouTube algorithm. What is it called? Yeah. Stop pausing every two seconds. I'll pause every one second. I'll pause every half a second, bitch. You know, usually reaction channels do the same thing. So if you don't want to watch, I want to react to what I want to react to. Crack on then. Camino. And from this moment, I was hooked. I can't get enough of Amberlynn Reed, if I'm honest. Can't eat, can't breathe, can't, can't sleep. sleep, can't enjoy music or books or movies because I feel like every moment is wasted Amberlynn Reed time. I must say, and I don't want to keep pausing this, but I actually am very good looking, highly intelligent, and very sophisticated when it comes to my language. I put a great video together. I feel very sloppy making this kind of reaction video, but needs must. I feel like I'm studying for a PhD in Amberlynn theology and I can't cram in enough information. What's that face for, love? What word confused you? For today's video, in an effort to exercise all the Amberlynn knowledge I've got inside of my brain, I I I'm dumping on you. I'm really sorry, but I need to speak about this girl so I can just move on with my life. Honestly and truly, it's like That's his way of saying, okay, let me speak on this girl so I can make some money real quick. Amber Lynn Love, honestly, I'm not trying to put you in a place or anything, but I do not need you to make money, thank you very much. I could make an OnlyFans tomorrow, peel back my foreskin and make 10 grand. Parasite. When I first came across Amber, stumbled across Amber Lynn Reed, I promise you there was absolutely no coming involved. I am hilarious! I thought she was just a simple curvy girl from the middle of Incestionapolis, Kansas, America. America, who talked bad and ate badder. So I felt kind of mean making so many jokes. As sad as it is, that's literally me. I talk bad and I, I eat know. badder. I mean, that's literally the moral yes. of the story. Everything else, people just create these other stories. No! You create the stories. It's seven o'clock in the morning, I should not be this angry. Or drinking Red Bull.
Batter's not even a fucking word. I know. Batter's not a word. I'm just saying it because he did. Um, I'm sure he didn't get hate for it. <laughs> I would have. That's the joke. I talk bad, Nate, bad. You heard the accent there. I'm taking the piss out of you, love, and you know that, or you're too dense to realize. Either way, I'm right, you're wrong, and there's nothing you can do about it. People create these other, like, stories to my life, and I really feel like that's the reason why I have so much viewing. Donada, darling, Donada. So it's almost like I should be saying thank you to the hater nation, you yeah? know? You should be saying thank you to the hater nation, truly. I'm not a part of it, but you should be saying thank you because if it wasn't for all these reaction channels talking about you, no one would give a shit. Nobody watches your videos because they find you, okay, that's hyperbole. A lot of what I do is hyperbole. You may not know what that word is, Amberlynn, but look it up and a lot of things will come to light. All these people that react to you are the reason that you're so relevant and the reason that you're so fascinating is because of the insight provided by these other people. But the more I fell down the rabbit hole, and trust me, it's a massive gaping rabbit hole, the more I was a little bit concerned, if I'm honest. A quick Google video search returns over 3 million results for Amberlynn Reed. Oh, she's gonna love That's this. Three I times bet she loves Guy it. Oakley, three yeah, times look at that jaw drop. Mongoose. And if I'm honest, she has over 30 times the amount of results as me, but that's neither here nor there. Pick it back up, love. Okay, I did not know that. What the fuck? Uh, but, I mean, doesn't everyone? In fact, there's a whole entire YouTube community dedicated to analyzing, critiquing, and debunking every single one of Anne Boleyn's uploads. Some of these Stan channels Zachary have Michael. hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And Who's that? I've never seen that before. Who's that? I've never seen it before. Oh, it's Amber Lynn being funny. Are we really bringing the weight loss doctor up again? Honestly, you need to give Zachary Michael a medal. He's keeping you afloat. Not keeping you afloat, that'd be pretty difficult. Girl, he told you, he told you how to lose weight and you tried for 12 hours, if that. Why is this girl so interested? Why are people talking about her so much? <gasps> oh, I love seeing... I look so much bigger here. Amberlynn Reed's selective sight coming through. I love that. She's just a humble weight loss channel, isn't she? Well, she's a little bit more than that. As well as gravity, Amberlynn has been at the center of quite a few controversies over the years. And today we're gonna delve into a couple of them. So sit back, relax, grab a snack. And Amberlynn, if you're watching this, I said snack, not a whole entire rotisserie chicken. <gasps> Thank you for clapping for the NHS, Amber. Truly and honestly, 8 p.m. every Thursday outside of your front door. There is another fat shaming um, thing. How is it a fat shaming thing when you're sat there eating a rotisserie chicken and I say you're eating a rotisserie chicken? I'm, I'm, I'm pulling facts from your own videos. You may not like it, Amberlynn Reed, but I actually sat down and watched a shit ton of your videos. An actual shit ton of your videos. 117 videos I watched of Amberlynn's and then decided that's important enough to archive into a playlist so I can then rip them from the internet and use it in my, my video. And everyone thinks it's so fucking funny. You're eating a whole entire rotisserie chicken. As I say, you're eating a rotisserie chicken. Honestly, the juxtaposition between you saying that you're not doing it versus the screenshot on your actual laptop where you're eating the chicken is just so rich, truly and honestly. But if I ever said something like that, um, I'd be rude, I'd be a bitch, I'd be etc, etc. You are rude and you are a bitch because you do say stuff like that to your significant others. About this rotisserie chicken, I love that we are actually talking about Tell this Tell me right about now. the rotisserie chicken then, love. In the title, I said that... I'm eating a whole rotisserie chicken. Did you guys not see that I only ate a little bit of the side and I ate a leg? That's all I ate. Do you think anyone cares if you only ate a bit of the side? What people care about is the fact that you're uploading a video with a provocative thumbnail and title when you're a super morbidly obese woman. It doesn't matter if you ate a bit of the skin, a bit of the thigh, a bit of the leg, you sat down with a whole entire, I'm gonna get this thumbnail up because it's absolutely grotesque. Have a look at that. Wait, that's me. Have a look at that! <laughs> oh my god, how does Jeffree Star continue to be racist and do this so fluidly? I did this for views. For clickbait. Oh, you did it for views, did you, love? Thank god you finally admitted something. Well done! Look, I can clap too! And everyone's like... Oh my gosh. You ate the whole... Chicken. I don't speak like that. Like... I speak the Queen's English, you dumb bitch. Okay, no, but bye. I'm trying to give you guys a good view. Amberlynn first uploaded to our channel in November of 2013. 
22 years old, fresh faced, bubbly. <laughs> I do crap myself up. Wow. wow. She first uploaded a video titled Nervous and Nervous Weight Loss and, and awkward. awkward. In this first video, 360 pound Anne Boleyn discussed their plans to use their channel as a way of documenting their weight loss journey and the audience on YouTube as a way of keeping their account full. I've been on a weight loss, weight loss journey for a very, very long time now. If she actually listens to what she has to say in her earlier videos, she will feel a deep level of shame. She should because the way she's acting right now is not reflective of who this woman was in 2013. This is the point, I don't hate you because you're fat. I don't even hate you, I don't think about you in that way. I truly have not got time in my life to do that. Well, I've got a bit of time this morning, be that I'm saying, it's quarantine, what can you do? This woman does not understand that people do not like her because of her personality. I think making these YouTube videos it might make me accountable. I'm not really doing this for other people, I'm more so doing it for myself. In the first months of her channel, Amberlynn was doing pretty well. And I say that she's doing well. How are you going to spin this into a negative thing? How are you going to spin this into a negative thing? Go, go! Weekly weigh-in videos, healthy tips. She was even going to the bloody gym. I have never done this great on the elliptical. I went 1.534 miles. Congratulations, Amber Lynn 2013. You impressed me. Knowing what I know about Amber now, this is shocking. It is shocking. The fact that she's even on a treadmill. The fact that she can even step it. up on <laughs> the treadmill. Mind blowing. <laughs> I can step onto a treadmill now. Do it then! Step onto a treadmill! I promise you that you cannot do it from. Okay, actually, take it back. You probably can step onto a treadmill if you use both your hands to level yourself up. But you cannot, for the life of you, do 1.5 miles now. And you know that. You absolutely know that. Look at that face! That is not a face that could do one and a half miles on a treadmill. Why are you opening your hand? What are you waiting for? A rotisserie chicken? Like, if you want to make videos about these, they should at least be accurate. You know, I like that he took the time to make this video. The editing is great. Thank you, Amberlynn. I appreciate that. But it's like, say things that are like real and not... Not real. You want me to say something real? You can't take any criticism. And then when you do, anytime you hear anything negative about you, or you, you cherry pick, you cherry pick sentences, you cherry, not even that. I'm not even going to give you that credit. You cherry pick words that you do not like. There's nothing about you being overweight that I don't like. You watch this whole entire video, you'll find out that I myself struggle with eating disorders and I have done for bloody ages. If you give me a chance, you'll find out. Oh my God. Give me a chance, you find out I talk about, well, to be fair, I mentioned it right at the end of the video. She's, there's no way she's going to get there. I talk about my own struggles with eating disorder, ongoing struggles with eating disorders. Like literally at my heaviest, I joined a gym Went on an elliptical. Oh, she joined the gym and went on an elliptical. Went on a treadmill. Treadmill? Went on an um, exercising bike. Oh, exercise bike. I only went three times. There you go. Went over it. I could go on it. Okay. whoop de doo Basil. I can stand on top of the Empire State Building. Doesn't mean I'm going to jump off it. And I'm a lot lighter now and a lot more like I have my stamina better. So you guys wanted me to react to this. So... Am I just not doing it right? Am I supposed to just be saying, yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, if the shoe fits, get a cardigan to match. And if the shoe fits, probably custom made. So what kind of reaction do you guys want from me? I'm just genuinely curious because I can totally turn this off. Your honest and genuine truth. Just watch the video and tell I'm me what you think. What exactly you guys want. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, Press it the right. space bar. Okay. Look at the grease on that space bar. Press that greasy space bar. Press it. Press that greasy space bar right now. She's on live, so she's reading the comments, what people are saying to her. That's why she's being a bit slow, slower than usual. Where's my little spinner totem? Because I feel like I'm in Inception. Where's Ellen Page? Ellen. Ellen. <laughs> okay, so I weighed in at 357.2. Hope she can reach that weight again, truly and honestly. Amberlynn first started her channel in Virginia, visiting her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of the previous Ooh, Crystal, she's not gonna like that. Dinner. Whilst visiting Crystal and her parents, Amberlynn received a call from her mum saying, and I quote, and I quote Amber darling. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I crap myself up. Hi, Amberlynn, love, it's your mum. Just a heads up, you can't come back to 
57. Wait, what? Wait, what? Anne Boleyn first started her channel in Virginia, visiting her girlfriend. Oh, I got I got my um states wrong. Someone corrected me in the comments as soon as I uploaded the video, and I went, okay, I hold my hands up. I got one thing wrong. Her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of a previous relationship in Oklahoma, whilst vi it was Virginia, I think. What? He has his facts wrong. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so he what? Ah, uh, this is why people shouldn't make these videos. Okay. So he just said that I had, I was in a relationship in Oklahoma, but I was visiting Crystal and I got a call from my mom that said, don't move back. Those are the words that came out of my mouth. No. <laughs> okay, laugh all you want. I was living, living in, Oklahoma. in Oklahoma. I went to Arizona to visit my girlfriend. That's when I got the phone call that my grandma said I can't live with her anymore. You were living in? I'm confused. I'm going to have to do science. I'm going to get a whiteboard. I'll be back. Oh, fuck's sake, this woman is absolutely taking up too much of my day! Oh, I have my facts wrong, do I? Tell me what I did wrong then, love. <laughs> Anne Boleyn first started her channel in Virginia, okay. visiting her girlfriend Crystal after the breakdown of a previous relationship in Oklahoma. Okay, so she's visiting Crystal in Virginia after a breakdown in Oak. Whilst with... What? He has his facts wrong. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so... He... I have my what? facts wrong, guys. I have my uh, facts this wrong. This is why people shouldn't make these videos. I okay. know, uh, I can do so whatever video I want, So he just said that I, ha I was in a relationship in Oklahoma, but I was visiting Crystal, and I got a call from my mom that said, don't move back. Okay. No. <laughs> I was living in Oklahoma. I went to Arizona to visit my girlfriend, that's when I got the phone call that my grandma said I can't live with her anymore. Because you're an absolute nightmare of a woman. The reason why is a whole reason that's literally like, he's not kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I got my fat, I got the wrong state. I said Virginia instead of fucking Arizona. Does it matter? So, it's a joke. No, I wasn't joking. I just got my wrong, I just got the wrong state. There's like 50 of them. Sorry if I got one wrong. They're all bum fuck nowhere anywhere. Who cares? Who actually genuinely cares? This is called, Anne Boleyn, making a straw man, where you don't have an actual valid argument for my point, so you pick and choose what you're gonna respond to. You're re Ugh. Okay, actually no. You're well within your rights to correct me. You're reacting to a video, you're well within your rights. You're well within your rights, as long as you acknowledge the fa- As long as you acknowledge the animal abuse, the rape accusations, all of that jazz, I'll be happy. I ended up being in an abusive relationship in Arizona, and Crystal and I were really good friends. I ended up actually moving in with Crystal. So I'm right. But he has his facts wrong, um, like completely. So I feel like he needs to like have his facts right. I would like to take this moment to sincerely apologize to the whole entire internet for, for confusing Virginia with Arizona. whoop de doo Basil. whoop de fucking do Awkward. Crystal and her parents and... I'm really happy. Crystal's parents helpfully encouraged Amber to lose weight by dropping small hints. Or perhaps she should use a calorie controlled diet. You're massive, so I've bought you some weighing scales so you can track your progress. <laughs> and this is where Amber Lynn decided to pick up the camera and document her journey. If you look at her face though, she's genuinely intrigued as to what I have to say. I think it's slowly dawning on her that I did my research. Yeah, I got one state wrong, whoop de doo Basil. But I think it's dawning on her that I'm gonna pull out recipients. Full recipients! And I'm joking, I do know the word is receipts. I'm just, I'm taking the piss, Amber, just in case you need it spelled out for you. I would spell it out for you, but I'm not sure you'd be able to comprehend it either way. Okay, so that's also wrong. Um, me and Crystal wanted to lose weight. Her parents had Crystal nothing to do with Crystal and I, but okay. Um, me and Crystal wanted to go on a weight loss journey. Crystal and she I wanted to go on a weight loss journey. Like, in my opinion, like her weight was my goal weight. And so we wanted to go on a weight loss journey together. And that's when her mom- When her mom, I'm right. And you just don't want to admit When Crystal asked her mom and her dad, hey, can you know, they already had a scale, but it didn't work for me. So got a new scale. That's what I said. what Crystal's parents would do is because I would buy my own food. With what money? With what money were you buying your own food? The money that Crystal's parents gave you? But they would give us the money- Yes, I know they did because I said that! For the food. And um, it's just, I think the reason why I was so successful then is because I was so happy. So you're not happy now 
Becky, if you're watching this, I know you are because you're a massive fan. She's not happy with you. Did you hear that? Like, I was so freaking happy there. And I don't know. It was just like I had no reason to overeat all the time or binge all the time. It's just I was happy. I'm glad you were happy, truly. Honestly and truly, I'm glad you're happy. I hope you get to that place again. And I had so much support from her parents. I love Good. them dearly still to this day. Good. I say that in the um, next clip. Keep watching, I yeah, say that. It wasn't them who made me lose weight. I think that's where a lot of people are super confused. And that's okay because, I mean, not everyone knows the whole story. They just believe what they see online. The reason people are confused, Anne Boleyn Reed, is because you consistently and constantly put out so many myths truths. You can't keep your story straight from one video to another. And as someone who watched a majority, a big fat chunk of your videos, I know that from first-hand experience. And you know that as well. Do you know what I'd love you to do? Put your hands up, not clap for once. Put your hands up and say, you know what? I say so many lies that I actually don't know what's true anymore. So I can't blame this, this handsome, beautiful, great teethed, blonde, rambunctious man for getting his facts wrong on one fucking state because I myself am a massive fucking state. He's being sarcastic. So you think that this whole video is just him being sarcastic and joking? If that's the case, then I'm not gonna watch it because <laughs> that's pointless. Like, what am I supposed to be reacting to? I'm like confused because everyone keeps saying that he's just joking and being sarcastic. So I don't know what to take seriously then. No, my whole video is not me being sarcastic. I actually make some extremely valid points about the animal abuse, about you falsely accusing the... About you falsely accusing the girlfriend that you lived in one of these states with of sexually abusing you when she didn't. Rain and pell eavesdrop, you use the wrong word. I didn't realize I was gonna be doing so much manual labor today. Like, what's the point of this video? Okay, I make hyperbolic jokes. I completely admit that. I do, it's just part of my personality. I'm a sarcastic, witty, charming boy. But it does not mean that you can invalidate every single thing that I say in this video because I got the name of a state wrong. Since I've been here, I've finally been urged to get I look nice when I started and this video, now I look like absolute shit. And I've been doing it because of them. Seeing as this guy was just dropped on her doorstep, essentially, Crystal's parents did a pretty good job. I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see this and me, but it's not going to um, happen. We can see me, love. We can see me. Crystal's parents gave Amberlin an allowance, allegedly. You're not seeing me today, love. Sort of a thousand or a thousand five hundred dollars a month. For existed apparently. Wait, Go on, call me out. Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, so I'm not wrong, am I? I'm not. I'm not wrong. Okay. A to B, and bringing subscribers along for the journey. This way they can celebrate your wins and they can pick you up. God, she's fuming. If you fall off the horse, poor horse is fine if you ask me. Give it to me! Come on! Come on! You know, it, it just, it happens. Um, like I say- In this clip that I'm showing on the screen right now, I like Bamblin then. I had no idea who she was until this year, but watching back her old videos, she was so sweet and she was so nice and softly spoken. And well, she looks like she's a bit fucked up right now, but she was very kind and she seemed like she actually had a good heart. And like, like I said, views go up, motivation goes down. In fact, the only, the motivation goes up to put on weight because she knows that it gets her more money. Like she admitted with the rotisserie chicken muck bag. Diet perfectly. I don't know what you thought you were doing with this. You think you were proving points? Perfectly, you know, the only points you're proving are mine, love. Gosh, she looks so defeated. Think that, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am down. Da, da, da. I weighed in at 362. Zero. You can't say anything because you know that I'm making factual points. In a video titled Dear Anne Boleyn, I kind of like this She's self-aware, she admits that she doesn't know everything and that she needs help. And she's willing to listen to critiques and comments from her audience. God, I do talk with my hands quite a bit, don't I? I'm very hand vocal. Dear Anne Boleyn, I want to talk to you for a minute. I know you want This is so cringe. Healthy. And you want it so bad that it eats you up inside. But why can't you do it? With the support of Crystal's parents, it seemed like having a familial environment provided Amberlynn with the chance to focus on her surroundings less and her weight loss more. I'm so curious as to what part of this video she decides is just too much. I plan to only eat 1700 calories. This week, every day, 
besides Thanksgiving and I'm already messed up. And today is only the first day. One of the she can't even look at herself. She can't even look at herself. She can't look at herself when she's speaking on screen and that speaks absolute volumes. Your examples of this is in 2014. When I'm right, hun. I'm right. You know it. Days, with the idea being that for 27 days in a row, she would weigh herself and upload the evidence to YouTube. But it came as no surprise to anybody that by day 11, Anne Boleyn decided to throw in the big, giant, massive towel. Daily weigh-ins do mess with the brain, whether we- My whole thing is like, he did some, like, he had to watch a lot of my videos, like almost all of them. That's either like- I did. Kind of a, like- What is it, love? Whoa, or kind of like, whoa, like the bad whoa. I don't know what to think about it. So we're not. I don't know what um, to think about it either, honestly, so love. I truly video don't. Video it was a dark video. time in my life. Anne Boleyn uploaded a video <laughs> titled, I'm sorry, but I'm done, where she blamed her YouTube audience for stressing her out. So she decided to dip and leave YouTube behind. I'm just done. Um, that's all I can say is I'm done. I do not know how famous YouTubers can handle me neither, darling, but I survived somehow. Ah, God, I'm so good! Oh, no, I'm not very good now. I'm just soaking wet. Do you like that, Becky? Do you like my soaking wet batty? I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. I am literally just tired of it, you guys. But don't worry too much, because the next day, she was back. This is quite embarrassing. Um... I chose the haters over the lovers. Also, you telling me that Becky, Anne Boleyn, Ricky, Eric, no one in that household has watched this video. Liars. Absolute liars. My video's got 1.2 million views and it mentions her name. It'll be on her homepage. She lives and dies on YouTube. I don't want to say goodbye to YouTube. I don't. I don't at all. And this is where I feel like Anne Boleyn went wrong. Because if she stay off YouTube and... This is not good for your mental health. You should stop. Oh, is this someone commenting? I'm glad I turned around to what, see what? that because I feel like you're right. Oh, convenient, yeah. A lot of times these videos are. What are they? A lot of like what are opinions. They? Opinions. Okay. More so than yeah. like true facts. Literally your life, but all right, carry on. <sighs> I don't know. Like, what else does he talk oh, about? Oh, she's going to scan through. Let me see. Okay, so let's see what she sees. Okay, so there's Crystal. Scooters. Scooters. <laughs> Casey, I see animals. Oh, Casey, ew, no. she just saw Casey. Mm -mm, not going through that again. Nope, because she knows what exactly what I'm gonna mention. Does he put in here how I've lost hella weight at the end? Of course, I didn't mention your recent weight loss because it's a recent weight loss. No, because he doesn't want it to be a good story at the end. How do you know if I didn't mention not. if you've lost hella weight at the end? I'm not gonna watch this anymore be because no it's pal. stupid. Like, no offense, no Tino shade. Like, good job, like. But I could see the people who actually care about me. <laughs> oh, Amy's Life Journey just uploaded a video, you guys. Yay! Watch the whole video. Do it! You've got time to sit there and paint your nails a horrific shade of pink. You can sit there and you can watch the whole entire thing. I'm mad because I actually watch them. I want to unlock these videos. Oh, babe, that's sad. Okay, that actually made me really sad. So you were a fan of his? Okay, so Becky just said that she's upset because she used to be a fan of him. <laughs> oh God, that was a waste of time. Actually, no, it wasn't. I had a lot of belly laughs out of that. I do truly want to say, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I am, I do apologize if you feel a certain type of way. Not gonna apologize for the words I said, I'm gonna apologize if you felt a certain type of way. And if you feel like watching this video is gonna send you on a downward spiral, then I wouldn't want you to watch it. But if you watched, if you watched for like 10 more seconds, you would see that I am encouraging, I am disappointed in who you are now, because it's not who you were in the beginning. And that's why people don't fucking like you. It's nothing to do with the fact that you're super morbidly obese. It's due to the fact that you are an absolute nightmare of a woman who does not stick to their own morals and principles. One rule for you, one rule for another. She thought she got a scot free because I didn't mention Casey at the beginning of the video when I was talking about this debacle. This absolute train wreck of a situation. She thought, you know what? He doesn't know much about the whole Casey drama. I'm gonna continue watching. She scrolls through. The, you can see the actual point. I'll do a slow-mo recap for you. Anne Boleyn, darling, this is called editing. 
Oh, ew, no. She knows I'm gonna mention rain and petal eavesdrop. You got the wrong word. Anne Boleyn, you are an absolute cop out. You give up on your weight loss. You give up on yourself. You give up on this video because you can't face the reality and the truth. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna get so heated, but I'm kind of glad I have. I might go for a run. Do you wanna join me for a run, Anne Boleyn? You wanna come for a run with me? The audacity to say that I only have views because of you, no. You're absolutely wrong. The only reason you have views is because you stuff your face on camera and you emotionally manipulate your audience. Let's get that fact right. The reason I have views, one, Manise, love you Lily, thanks. Number two, I am hilarious. Number three, I am stunning. Number four, I am worthy of everyone's attention because I have something to say. What do you have to say? Oh, this is stupid. This is dumb. I can't watch this video because it's stupid and dumb. You went into this video saying I was going to be boring and you've noped out of it because I had actual facts and points. You thought it was going to be a happy-go-lucky me sat here watching you eat on camera and, and making loads of fat jokes. whoop de doo Basil. You saw three fat jokes in the first 30 seconds. What do you want me to say? Did I want her to react to my video? No, I wasn't asking for it. I wasn't begging for it. I wanted her to watch my video in her own free time, her own spare time. I know she's got plenty of it because she just sits on her arse all day. I don't often get the chance to be this passionate because I don't often watch a video live for the first time where I can give my raw, this is so fucking raw guys, unfiltered opinion. Usually I know exactly what I'm gonna say and exactly what points I want to make. So I am sorry if this video is a little bit all over the place. I think that's all the time I've got for today's video as I need to go and clean the Red Bull off my television screen. However, if you did enjoy this video at any time, make sure to leave me a like for more videos similar to this on your YouTube homepage. And if you want more videos from me in general, click subscribe and I'll be in your subscription box. I am inches away from a million subscribers. So if you wanna click that button, I'll be very appreciative. Look me in my eyes and tell me I don't deserve it. You can't, so just press the button. What are you waiting for? But I see the percentage of you people who watch me every week and don't subscribe. Who do you think you are? <laughs> if you miss me in between my uploads on YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at Tom underscore Harlock, where I'm hilarious in the stories and stunning on the feed. Let me know your thoughts and feelings and comments down below. If you think I was too harsh on Amberlynn, honestly, you're more than entitled to your wrong opinion. Unlike Anne Boleyn, you're not going to get blocked for saying what you think on this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far, buzzing. Cheers. Anne Boleyn, if you are watching this, thank you so much for giving me YouTube relevancy. What would my career be without you? Thanks to Becky for being a loyal fan and subscriber. And also, cheers, Amber, for saying I have nice teeth and editing. Those are the only things I really remember from this video. I tend to block out trauma. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.